is teacher and uh, today's lesson is about the passive voice are you still confusing between the passive and active voice okay let's start and you will find it so easy okay what does it mean or what is the passive voice the passive voice is used when we want to emphasize the action, the verb, and the object of the sentence rather than the subject. This means that the subject is either less important than the action itself or that we don't, we don't know who or what the subject is, which means that we don't give too much importance to the doer of the action. What we, we, we give too much importance is the action itself. Okay? Like in this uh, sentence, the window is broken. I came and I found that the window is broken. I don't know the doer of the, the action. It means that as I must use here the voice. Okay, now the use of the passive voice. We use the passive voice, first of all, when we want to be a polite, in a polite context. When we want to be a polite, a mistake, like in this example, a mistake was made. In, not, in order not to be so offensive, I, I uh, try to use the, the passive voice. A mistake was made instead of, say, of saying you make a mistake and I, went, I, I, am, I will be so, somehow rude. Okay? Another case, if we don't know the, the doer of the action, or if it is not known at all, or it is not important to know it. Okay, like this case, the car was stolen. Okay, the car was stolen. I don't know who, who did this action. I, I don't know who steal my car. I said, I came and I said that the car is, was stolen. The form of the passive voice is so easy. Okay, it is such the appropriate form of uh, to be plus the past participle. What does it mean? What does it mean the appropriate form of to be plus particip past participle? Which means that to be must be put in the form of the verb of the active form. If I have the verb in a pre simple present, I must put to be in simple present. If I have the, the, uh, the appropriate form of the verb uh, in a simple past, I must put to be in simple past and so on. Okay? This is how we are formulate the passive and active form. In the active voice, we have subject, verb, and object, like this sentence Sarah plays tennis. But in the active, in the passive vo form or passive uh, voice, I put the object of the, uh, the, uh, the active vo voice in the subject, in the place of the subject. The object is the, the, in the place of the subject. And the subject is, will be in the place of the object. And the verb to be must be in the appropriate form on the initial. We are going to see the difference between tenses, between uh, the active and the passive voice. The present, simple. I do my homework in active voice but in passive voice my whole my homework is done by me here by me is not is not uh, very crucial i can put it or not okay present continuous i'm doing my homework my homework is being done my homework is being done he is being is is put in the initial form of the active voice Past simple. I did my homework. My homework was done. Here, to be was put in past, past simple. I was doing my homework. My homework was being done. Okay? It's the same here. I put was being in the initial form of the active voice. Present perfect. I has done my homework. My homework has been done. Okay? Past perfect, I had done my homework here. So my homework had been done. If you notice there here that had been is put in the initial form of the active form had done. Okay, and so on. That is the case 
whenever I have a verb, I see when it is conjugated and I put the verb to be in the initial ver uh, form of the, uh, the active. Okay, the passive voice when with models. Okay, as you know, every verb which comes after a model verb must be infinitive. It must be in infinitive form, bare infinitive, which means that whatever you find that if every verb that comes after model verb must be in infinitive and in passive voice we are we will do such yes ali can will may must should breaks the window okay ali can will may must should might break the window here break is infinitive form because it comes after a model okay but and it will be a such in the passive form like in this sentence the window can will might must should might and we have a lot of models be broken by ali can be broken will be broken or may be broken or must be broken here be must be in infinitive because it comes after model okay model plus b which, which means that model plus infinitive form of the verb plus past participle whenever you have a model that verb that which comes after mo model must be in infinitive form now we are going to see when we have a passive verb but when we have two objects verbs with two objects we have verbs with two object some verbs that have two objects can make two different active sentences and so two different passive sentences like when we have a verb like give okay give an active sentence he gave me the book or he gave the book to me i can say he gave me the book or i can say he gave the book to me you can choose either of two objects to be the subject of the passive sentence Okay, if you want to focus on the book or on the uh, me, you have the choice, whatever you like. I was given the book by him or the book was given to me by him. I choose what or who I want to pay the focus on. Adverbs like this are ask, offer, teach, tell, lend, promise, sell, and through all these verbs can have two objects and we can choose which one we can put in the place of okay here we have some exercise the government is planning a new road near my house my grandfather built this house house since 1943 picasso was painting Guernica at that time the cleaner has cleaned the office he had written three books before 1867. John will tell you later. By this time tomorrow, we will have signed the deal. Somebody should do the homework. The traffic might have delayed Jamie. People speak Portuguese in Brazil. So try to, to answer all these uh, sentences. And we, when you, you finish the answers here, and good luck. And I hope that it it is easy for you to, to to know and to understand the passive voice. But if you have any kind of question, please try to contact me. I will be at your service. And goodbye until next lesson. See you.